Hi, in this video, I want to talk to you about why I never really watch or read news. Here's why. The first reason I don't read news is because, well, in the beginning of my life, I always try to understand more around the world, um, about the world, and understand the world surrounding me a little bit better by gaining this information from news. So, my mom is actually a huge advocate for reading news because she thinks by reading news, you will understand the world. Once you understand the world, you will find a way to kind of fix your life in a way that reflects the world around you. And uh, for example, like if you see like someone is uh, attacking other people on the bus, um, in this specific bus line, then you will avoid it and your life could be a lot safer and more purposeful, effective that way by eliminating all those bad things going on around the world. Yeah, but throughout the longest time, yes, yes. I uh, listened to my mom, I was a good boy. I was always agreeing with her and then always uh, following what she had to say, which leads to me reading a lot of news. So I was always, I, I like uh, reading some news from some like uh, accounts on my, either Instagram or just on the internet in general. So I like to um, actually get to know these news, right? Um, throughout the longest time. And then, 2020 happened. Um, all of a sudden, every single news outlet is talk talking about how negative human lives are because this um, the virus and uh, because the pandemic that brought forward a lot of, ne a wave of negative information on the news. And in the beginning, I was reading all these news, I was like, holy shit, the world's coming to an end. Definitely the world is coming to an end. Everyone's gonna die. This is like Black Death, right? Um, based on what the news says. And then there's so many manipulation of facts that I see on the, on the media, social media, mainstream medias, that they try to portray um, the pandemic as literally the end of the world and the human race will be no more. Uh, <laughs> which brought me to a really like hopeless state. Because this is not natural. Like people should not be getting this much information from the, the outside world that have even no relation to me. I live in my immediate household. I have a few people there around me. But these people are my tribe. And then this information that, that's coming from outside are so far detached from my reality that do they actually have choose that affect me? I started to ask myself this question. And later on, I just read a lot of interesting information online that pretty much tell me how and why you should not watch or read news at all. So hear me out. Let me just pitch it to you. If something very important were to happen, if something fundamentally is gonna impact your life, it's gonna happen, which is what my mom described as all the news, if something like that were to happen, there, for a fact that you'll get this information from outlets outside of the media. So for example, if like, I'm just a random person, okay? I'm just chilling, I don't have my internet. Um, I'm living in maybe like a cave or a house, but I just don't like internet. I just turn it off all the time and I have no idea what's going on, um, what's being said on news channels, what's being said on social media, what's being said on the internet and mainstream media. I have no idea any of that. And the pandemic happens, right? Uh, and then I have no idea. I was walking outside and see a lot more people wearing masks. Hmm, interesting. I didn't really think about it. Maybe just a new fashion trend. Maybe like the Chinese international, international student fashion trend of wearing a lot of masks. It's, it's, it's popping in North America. Maybe maybe that happened. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't ask them, right? And then I go, go about throughout my day. I was talking to my friends and then, oh, one guy started to mention there is um, something of a virus happening. I was like, okay, who cares? Uh, so I talked to another guy and, and he, he's also like, hmm, something sinister is happening, like something weird is happening. Maybe we need to be protective of ourselves. So that's, I talked to a few people and they all kind of like feed me this information because they know it from the news, right? Um, or they know it from their family members, uh, words of mouth, right? So by then, I would have grasped what had happened, even without reading the news, even with just talking to my friends and talking to people on the street 
and uh, getting this information from the world. Actually, I'm living. So I'm actually physically living. Just always remember the word the news portrayal portrays does not physically exist. They're talking about stuff in a fictional space. Uh, when you read news, it's always about a non-certain, non-physical space that could potentially be having some kind of issue. So, for example, if you read news today, um, you go on like the mainstream TV channel here in Canada. It's called CBC. You go, go on this channel and you pretty much just look at the news that, that they're portraying. So, okay, today, 600 people died in a typhoon in Philippines. Okay, I get it. I'm not in Philippines and then this information will affect me. Mm, how? How will this information actually affect me, right? It's uh, so absurd that this information will pop up on your local news for Canadians here in Toronto. Very, very surprising. But think about how often you get this information and think about how it changes the way you, your brain functions. So all of these negative information that they could potentially portray, maybe um, some, someone like a kid going to a car accident in Turkey, I was like, okay, <laughs> that's pretty uh, tragic. And then maybe um, a husband decapitated his wife in Iran. Holy shit, it's messed up. So you see all these, these news from your local news outlet and um, most of the news, if you like do a statistic, which people have already done, uh, there's a, this is a fact that most of the news in the news uh, outlets nowadays are negative. It's very seldom that you see a positive news because negative news grabs views. Negative news um, retain attention. So when news outlets are trying to sell their program to you, to try to sell their ads to you, they obviously want you to, um, glue to, for your eyes to glue to the screen for as long as possible, for your attention to stay in their loop for as, as long as possible. And by doing, uh, by making all these negative information available, their channel is becoming more and more attracted to you because your brain seeks negative information. This is a pretty fundamental, um, aspect about how human brain works, by the way. So in, in the ancient time, when we are chimpanzees living in the jungles, our brain process negative information so much more than positive information because whenever we have something possibly happening, we found like a really tasty mushrooms. Oh, this is good. We got fed for a little bit and now we remember where this mushroom is at. Next time we'll go and grab this mushroom from probably the same spot. This is good information, this positive information, but what truly like affect our brain, like make our brain like pop, make our brain, if you do a brain scan, make our brain like entirely lights up with neural connections, neural waves, is when you are heard a very scary sound in the wood. So maybe an animal, woo, they, they screamed, right? It might be a predator. Now your brain's on fire, right? This is, this predator is so close to me that I can already hear it and it's coming closer and closer towards me. If it's a wolf, it will eat me. I can put a fight, put up a fight with a wolf, of course. So fight or flight um, system is light up. So your brain is more stimulated, uh, stimulated and excited. And then um, the second process maybe is true, pure danger. Maybe this is a tiger. When a human face a tiger, hundred percent of the time a tiger will win. Uh, at least like, when we're pretty much um, in hunter-gatherer times. It's very hard for a single person to defeat or to get away from a tiger. So that's very bad because <laughs> this negative information now can potentially um, warn us of getting potentially killed. So when we are reading news nowadays, these negative information kind of acts in similar ways. It still act, have access to this primal instinct of our human like monkey brains it still make us feel like this information is warning us of death, right? So let me just rephrase again with the same news you see on the, on the news channels. A kid was murdered in Turkey, cold bloodedly. Now, this information for a fact that it's not going to affect your life if you live in Canada, if you live in Toronto, unless you're like relative of the children, which is, I don't see why you will be, but 
This information will not affect your immediate life at all, but it's stimulating the same brain parts that stimulate true fear and true danger to you. Now this is where the problem arises. If you immerse yourself in reading all these news from these news articles and news channels, then all day round, your world will be surrounded by these negative waves of information and these information will slowly consume you, will slowly make your life so much more miserable and make you on edge all the time. That's why you have stress. That's why you have chronic stress disorders. A lot of people these days suffer from this because we read, we watch all these news informations that pretend to be important to you, but most of them are not. If you stop reading news, I stopped reading news from two years ago. Like I'm, I'm, ama I'm doing amazing right now, men mental health wise. And uh, if I want to get to know this one specific piece of information, I actually, I'm really friendly. I go outside and actively ask a person and ask one of my friends, like what's happening with that one? So my friends are in fields that they understand these some, some specific issues so much more than uh, the average news channels. So you can ask them. They will tell you honestly what, what will happen. And then, but most of the time you don't even need to know these informations. See, most of the time like this information will be completely irrelevant to you. And it doesn't affect your decision making at all. Your day to day decision making is um, oriented with you as the center, with you performing actions as the center. And most news information does not, does not affect that at all. And now you don't have any um, of these stress from the news. If you're like me, you stop watching news at all. And then you, your life becomes so much more clear and your purpose becomes so much more clear because humans fundamental need is to pursue their purpose in life. And now you can put this effort and put this time and motivation and concentration and attention towards the thing you actually want to achieve without being constantly reminded how negative, how weird everything is. But to be honest, if you go outside the world right now, you go outside, walk outside your door today, you will realize what I said is completely true. The news channels, social media outlets, they're capitalizing on you watching them. They're portraying their f a fictionalized world that's dangerous, cruel, harsh, always with potentiality of death and miserable things happening. But the real world, if you walk outside the door right now today, you will see how beautiful the real world is. Take a moment, touch a grass, <laughs> feel the physical world, feel the wind against your face, feel the sunlight on your skin. These are the physical world. These are what actually exist, not the phenomena or not the information that the news portrays. These are the real world. Now, one way for you to start getting into the habit to not reading news is to remove all apps or all news outlets that could potentially send you a notification on your phone. And uh, you should not have that much notification on your phone to begin with, but definitely limit the amount of notification, notification you can get from these outlets. So personally, as you can see on my phone, I only have notification, notification from people messaging me and it has to be direct messaging. So every time a phone pops up, for sure, I know someone's trying to reach out to me. Someone's trying to ask me a question. Someone's trying to like plan something to do with me. That's social. That's good. But there's nothing from a third party media outlet. There's nothing from CBC. There's nothing from any news website. I don't even know a news website. N nothing from New York Times. There's nothing from these kind of outlets at all. If I want to know about these things, I will actively search for it. I will not receive this information passively. And by not reading any news, you now have power over your own f functional brain, your own freedom in your own string of thoughts. You will not be affected by the negativity the media has tried to portray and you will become a better version of yourself, more focused and more action potential to perform the tasks you're here on earth to perform. 
Thank you so much. Hopefully you get a lot of information from this and hopefully you literally go turn off this video and go eliminate all new source new sources from your phone from the media outlets that can potentially get to you eliminate them right away and over like a week of time you will feel the difference thanks so much see you in the next one